I am Dr. Devat Lakshman. I am a senior consultant, orthopedics, joint replacement, sports injuries and trauma at Manipal Hospital, Sarjapur Road. The deformity being a bow leg or a knock knee deformity, which are commonly encountered. Some people also have stiff knees, you know, lack of bending. Some people have stiff hips. Some people have deformed hips. Some people have painful hips. So all these conditions are taken into consideration while doing a CT scan and it is fed into a computer program which will be assessed by experts and then a pre-programmed or a preliminary surgical plan is generated which is again compared with the actual deformity of the patient on table. So what computer does is, what robot does is Initially, in a conventional knee replacement, you tend to lose about minimum of 8 to 9 millimeter of bone from the distal part of your femur. That was suggested by the jigs which is available with the implants. Nowadays, we get away with about 4.5 to 5 millimeter of bone cuts which is very minimal and reducing the bone cuts by about 40%. It will also, the angle of the cuts are such that it will lead to more accurate fitting of the implants. If the implants are fitted better, then the longevity and the pain which is experienced by the patient post the surgery is also reduced. The rehab time is reduced by about 40%. Patients are most probably more better toilet trained by the time they leave the hospital. They are more happy and they can get back to their normal life as early as possible using a robotic surgery. So robotic surgery all in all is a boon to the practice of joint replacement surgeries. It has completely changed the scenario and changed the game. There is a paradigm shift on the expectations of our patients nowadays. Everybody wants to sit cross leg although we tell them not to sit on the floor, so most of the people they sit on their bed, on their sofa because that kind of activity, sitting cross leg is very innate to an Indian population. Once they are able to sit cross leg, uh, they feel that the entire rehab is complete. It makes them more whole, there is no restrictions to their life, taking stairs, you know, walking swiftly, all these activities are possible and it has been made possible by the accuracy which is provided by the robotic surgery. So I welcome you all to come and experience the advantages and disadvantages of robotics. Discuss with our team and we will get back to you with the solutions which are provided more accurately using a robotic surgery technique. Thank you for your kind attention.